In this tutorial, I will show you guys how to create the famous shake effect. Many people use this effect in their montages or gameplay. Alright, so I have a video of me double shouting someone here, and I will just import it right here. And right when I double shot this guy, I want the screen to shake. So how do we do that? Well, it's very easy. Let's go to Window, The Wiggler. And the wiggler is basically a component which adds random motion to intermediate keyframes. Um, we can't use the wiggler right now because we have to do something before we can use it. Just right click, new, null object, and we have to set two keyframes for the position. So select it and hit P on your keyboard to bring up the position pro parameters. And you have to set two keyframes right here and I'm gonna set one right before I double shot him so that's about here and right after the double shot which is right here then just select the both keyframes and now we can use the wiggler um, I'm gonna set the noise type to jag as I want it to be hard uh, a hard shake and set the frequency to 25 no 24 a second so every frame one shake and the magnitude 25 that's all right and you can see that the keyframes has been have been added to the null object now I'm gonna close the window the wiggler down for some more space and now we have to link the video to the null object and we can do this really easy using the pick whip and just click it and drag it and drag it to the null object and then release your mouse button now you can see that the screen shakes while I double shot him but we got a problem right here. When I zoom in a bit, you can see that we have some white right here. And that white is the background of my composition. But we don't want to see that. So how can we get rid of it? Well, just right click on your footage layer and go to Effect, Stylize, Motion Tile. And the motion tile basically repeats the edges beyond itself. So when, we, when I check this box and output the width to 190 or something, it will snap into place automatically so I'm gonna set this to 200 um, you see that we still have the shake but we can't see the white anymore and that's exactly what we want so let's preview this real fast let's see how it looks alright Wow, that looks pretty cool. Alright, one more try. Bam. Right, I hope you found this tutorial useful and check back later at chronicstudios.com. Thanks for watching.